Okay, hi everybody. Hope you're well. I hope you're so, so well. Coming to the end of the week, coming into the end of the first week of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the first week of December. What do we see here in the charts? Now, if you've been following my last three weeks of webinars on Bybit, um, you'll know that we've been doing the Crypto Cradle course. So this scan is a scan of all the Bybit pairs and what I found in relation to Cradle trades. There's been a bit. Also, just quickly, by the way, it's almost Christmas. And how good is it that it's almost Christmas and our market is acting the way that we're kind of hoped it would come into this period of the year. So it's, it's very exciting. It's awesome. All right, so let's go and have a look at what I have found and what the cradle zone can show us today. Let's have a look. Okay, starting off with Bitcoin. First of all, I'll show you my list. This is what I found on the buy bit pairs. So I'm going to just keep that open. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll keep that open and we'll just look at one. So looking at the daily in the fall, like I normally do, we're just going to look at one chart because we'll flick through these and have a look at these setups in depth. Okay, so Bitcoin hasn't changed much from yesterday when we looked at it. This beautiful pullback into the weekly cradle zone right there, which we've talked about a million times now. And yeah, that's about it. We have the daily here. We do have a bearish candle in the cradle zone, although it was too big to take a trade on and the cyclicity is lacking. But I always just have Bitcoin in my stalking list anyway, because it's really, you know, a lot of the time it's a proxy for the whole market. Just stays in there. And this four hour, as you can see, is boom, 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 jaggedy sideways consolidation. We look at the 15 and it's the same. Okay, a bit of cyclicity here to the downside, but nothing really. So, Nothing there on Bitcoin, but like I said, we always keep it in the list because it just keeps us in flow with, with the market having a look at the Bitcoin chart. But also there's technically a trade there on the weekly as well, a weekly cradle zone. A weekly cradle zone trade. So a question just came in. Yes, this course is set up for whether you have... Um, whether you have years of experience trading and you're just breaking even, or you're in like a cycle, or you're in this cycle of trying something new and just not making any money, this uh, course has been taken by people that are, that are experienced in trading and looking for other strategies. It's also been taken by people like myself who didn't have any trading experience whatsoever, apart from gambling my money. <laughs> so this course is good for it. This course is good for anyone. It just takes commitment. It does take time. And um, you just have to have the right mindset, which we all teach, teach on stuff. Okay, now Ethereum. Ethereum's had a nice pop out of this consolidation on the daily, and we have a nice pullback in to the cradle zone here. I dare say if we look at some of these lower time frames at the 12... It's just starting to cycle. The reason I put this in was is it was really starting to cycle here on the four, but then you know, it's pullback's been a bit deeper. Let's have a look here on the 15. Just poke around, poke around. Um, there is a high low there on the eight. That's a very that's, that's not that's not a. Um, it's not a clear trend. The cyclicity isn't there. Remember, we want really nice, clear, clean trends, which is what we've learned about in the last three seminars. So what did we learn about good candle structure and cyclicity? So that bouncing ball in and out of the cradle zone. Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, and although there's a bit of a stretch of the imagination trend there. So there's, there is nice momentum of theory and look, 
if Ethereum was were, was to pop um, in the Northern Hemisphere session or in the evening session for us in Australia, I'd be wanting to watch it on the 15th. You can just see price moving out of that consolidation, which is why it's in the watch list. Okay, Seoul USDT. Now, I had this level marked in here on the 15th, and it looked like price was pulling into that level, but it broke through. So that level is now defunct. Now let's have a look at the daily. Sol is one of these ones that, again, from these lows, we've started moving up. You can see price here dipping in and out of the cradle zone in this section here and, and back here as well. What I'm looking for is something different. I'm looking for something on a mid time frame or on a lower time frame, sorry. It's because we have this really, we have this trend here on the four. I really want to see Sol push to higher highs, which it's very possible it could do that. It's very possible it could go the other way as well. But if Sol was to push to higher highs, it'd be a really beautiful trend here. The four on the MACD is nice and convergent. Remember looking for that uh, consistency across time frames. So then if we go down to the two, it's getting a bit messy there on the two, but I just like to see if price did push up further on this four, on um, this evening session or the Northern Hemisphere session, I'd be looking for cyclicity back on the 15 and up. Now, here's a good example. Look at this, bounce, 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 choppy. That section there is an example of very good cyclicity. So if we were to push under higher highs of the four, I would be comfortable trading the 15. Well, let's have a look at the 30 even the 30, see that section there in the 30. So that's why Sol's in. Matic. I always think Matic's pronounced Matic. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Now let's just, as you see, what like as we've learned through the past three centimeters, let's like dissect this chart. Let's, let's like take it apart and see what story it's telling us. What is the price telling? What story is this chart telling us? Okay, so there's obviously some region of resistance up here. Now, let's go down time frames, the 12, eight. Okay, so we have trend here on the four, but there's obviously some region of resistance here. And, and what did, have we learned in the seminars? We don't want to trade into resistance. Although there is a trend here on the four. So it's it's the same thing as uh, like Sol. We have this nice trend on the four, really nice convergence. Um, there is technically a daily uptrend, but not much. But there is a nice trend on the four. Now, if we go down time frames, like poking around, poking around, look at this cyclicity on the one hour. You can, can you see that bouncing ball? Bounce, consolidation, bounce like. It's starting to wind up. Looks like this level was broken on the one, so technically that level doesn't mean anything. Let's have a look at the 30, 15. Okay. Why is this in the list? It has some nice trends. It has a nice trend on the one, and it has a nice trend on the four. Although, even though this level was broken on the one, it is quite a defined level on the four hour, with a few big wicks going through. I mean, maybe we could look. There's a level of resistance up there somewhere in this in this region. Let's see, maybe maybe put it up there next time. Either way, I I would like to see price pull, push up through this level, and then again we have a nice four hour uptrend with with a higher low here and a higher low here. And we'd see price really going up over those highs, which would give me an opportunity to trade the 15 or the 30. And we could see how nice the 30 was cycling before when, when Matic was on fire. And look at this, look at this cyclicity, bang, bit of consolidation, bang, bang, like that's the type of stuff we're looking for. So that's why Matic is in. Let's have a look at Luna. Oh my. Kahoolas. 
Dios mío. Okay, how, let's just uh, let's just admire this and be grateful for why we are participants in this crypto market because we can have moves like this. This is why the cradle trades are awesome. Let's not measure from there to there. Let's measure from here to here. So 48% move over one, two, three, four, four and a half days. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Now I don't, now there's actually no daily trend there on on, hey Ray, hope you're going well, mate. Um, there's actually no daily trend there on Luna. We'll go back through the list as well, Ray. Um, anyway, to go through what we've covered. So there's no actual daily trend there on Luna. It's just kind of shut up straight away. But if we have a look here on the four, there is a fabulous four hour trend here on the four. Look, here's another good example. Another great cradle zone example. Bang, uh, bang. Bang, high highs. It's in there for that reason. There's a good trend on the four. It's getting a bit sticky, getting a bit sideways here on the two, but look, if the four hour pulled in here, um, or if the four hour decided to go to higher highs, I'd be so happy to trade the 30, if that's not cycle. So a few options to look at there. Alice. Now that daily is very sad and Alice. I don't quite remember why I put Alice in because there's a four hour up. It's kind of a four hour trend. I might have to take that out guys, is it? Mm. Look, it's trending on the six, it is trending on the 12, it is trending on the eight. Yeah, I'll take that out guys. So we'll give Alice a miss. Okay, so let's go through it. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. Nothing to trade there. Um, look, we need to see Bitcoin pull out of this consolidation zone and set another weekly high on the weekly time frame. For Bitcoin's early as the next, it's a good proxy for the market. Ethereum working that cradle zone. Again, and a, uh, there is a trend here on Ethereum on the four. Let's go here on the two. What I want to see is if Ethereum decides to push to high highs in this evening session, like I said, because there's a trend on the five, but you have to trade the 15. So, same thing here with Sol. Breaking out of this consolidation on the daily, go to the four, have a beautiful trend here on the four. Now, if Sol decides to, what do we say here on Sol? Really, yeah, I want to see Sol push higher here on the four. So maybe set a higher low here, and I'd be happy to trade these lower time frames, like the 30 or the 15. Like again, admiring this cyclicity here on the 15, trading something like that, or this cyclicity here on the 30. Four hours trending, and we get cyclicity like that returning. I want to know about it. Matic, same thing. Have cyclicity, really beautiful cyclicity on the four, but I just really want to see price break that level and see cyclicity like this returning or like the bouncing ball, like that returning on the 15 or even like this on the two. Oh, not really, it's not really there on the two, but on lower time frames, so I want to see Matic Clear that level so it's trending even even nicer on the four. And um, yeah, see that cyclicity return to lower time frames. Okay, Luna. Again, Luna is kind of very similar play. That is a fabulous uptrend on the four. Look at the house just respecting that cradle zone. Boing, bounce, bounce up, bounce up, bounce up. So what do I want to see here on Luna? I either want to see a pullback on the four. Let's just see if it's trending on the eight. It's not really trending on the eight. So I want to see that four. I want to see these moving averages catch up and that four make another high. 
which will then allow us to trade something like this on the lower time frame. So bounce, a bounce, a bounce, nice cyclicity there. Let's look at the 30. Not much there, but it was more on the one or the two. So again, wanting to, if that four decides to go to higher highs, I'll be looking to trade the lower time frames, like a two hour here. Look at this. Boing, 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 bouncing ball. And that, my friends, is the cradle zone. This is what we look for. Bounce, bounce, bounce. It is the zone that identifies, that helps us identify the perfect spot for pullback. And that is a beautiful example of how price bounces like a bouncing ball. You're in and out of the cradle zone. I hope you're all well. And happy December. Pinch and a punch for the second day of the month. Um, so as always, keep your risk dialed in. Trade safe. And most importantly, take care. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you soon.